Okay, so the new concept that we've um, figured out is that in order to release energy, cells need both glucose and oxygen molecules. When we looked at the SIM investigation, we noticed that both glucose and oxygen had the, the time that the person was able to jog was less was, and it specifically oxygen was significantly less, right? 38 versus 124-ish um, was a lot of difference. And 88 for glucose was also much less than 124. And amino acids were about the same as with that of a, a, the, when you had all three of them. So this is it, really important that both glucose and oxygen are needed in order for the cell to release energy. So Elisa had low levels of glucose molecules in her cells due to the condition of diabetes. And the evidence that we just gathered reveals why Elisa's low glucose levels contribu contributed to her extreme fatigue. Because she didn't have the, the glucose, then she wasn't able to release as much energy in her cells. And we're gonna learn more about how energy is released in the cells in the next lesson. So um, this is it for this lesson. Make sure that you've completed all of it. And thanks for conducting the investigations in the sim to determine that cells need both glucose and oxygen molecules to release energy. So this is the end of the lesson for today.